Uh, yeah. I think it's time for some oatmeal. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, we're on our way. Tuesday morning, little recovery run this morning. Just an hour. Zone one slash two. I don't think I'm really in a zone one slash two right now. I'm kind of breathing. You can hear me. About three miles in. Taking a walk break. The calves are creamy. Shins aren't hurt, but the calves are definitely feeling it. Done. There it is. Uh, seven miles in 58 minutes. So a book that I just finished uh, when I was in Seattle, I, like on the plane and stuff like that, I was just making music and reading. And I finished this book that I was reading called Comfort Crisis. And I feel like most of the people, if you if you watch this channel and you do any sort of training or endurance stuff, then you'd love this book, Comfort Crisis, it's called. One of the things that they talk about for a while is like how good of a workout rucking is. It's like just putting on a pack with some weight and going out for a walk or a hike or whatever. Cause it's easy on your joints, it's easy on your body, but it gets your heart rate up. So it's a really great workout. I feel like I'm gonna buy something like a weight vest or something like that for when I hike. Cause I feel like in between like speed workouts and stuff like that, like right now in my schedule, I'll just have like trainer rides on the bike, but sometimes I just don't wanna do those. Cause I'm not really like training biking a lot right now. So I'd rather like put on a weight vest and go for a hike. This just sounds more fun to me getting outside and stuff. So that's something I'm thinking about. Um, I don't know why. I don't know. Thought I'd let you know just in case. <laughs> just in case you're looking for something. You're like, what the fuck? How do I... I don't want to run just yet. I want to work my way up to it or whatever. Chuck on a, a white vest, mate. Go, go for a walk. You know what I mean? But check out that book if you're looking for something good to read. It's fucking great and it's so inspiring. It's a little like self-helpy, but I, I do... It's a guilty pleasure reading books like that. It makes you feel pumped up, you know? All right, bye. Hello. Can't wait for you to spill crumbs all over my car. May I eat you? Sprints, two minute intervals, <sighs> heading to the track. Not looking forward to this. It's hard to look forward to a speed workout. It's just hard. I'm, I am looking forward to this, to be honest. Okay, so some sort of athletic teams using the track. Naturally, I gotta figure out the hours. Uh, maybe come a little bit earlier. So that's not happening today, but I will hit the treadmill. That's always fun. A little treadmill workout. Doesn't make me want to claw my eyes out with boredom. All right, sorry, I tried to film that. It just wouldn't work. Had my phone kept like bouncing and then just shut off the, the recording and I was running 10 miles an hour, so I couldn't fix it. But uh, that was good, it was hard. It was fucking hard, but it always feels good after you finish a workout like that. Just like when you take your heart up to the limit, you know? Just redlining your cardio system. Last two intervals I did at 10 miles an hour, which is six minute miles. So that's good. That's faster than last time, I think. I'm gonna keep doing those on the treadmill for sure. It's so much easier to, to do speed work on the treadmill. All right, I'm gonna shower. Whoops, time to get hydrated, folks, with Element, the sponsor of today's video. I love this stuff. I use it every single day. I actually adore this. I adore it. And my favorite flavor, which is grapefruit salt, it's the one I, it's the OG one, the one I started with. It's now a permanent flavor, baby. So if, if you like it, this is now permanently available for purchase. Listen, proper hydration isn't just about having enough water. It's also about having enough electrolytes, which means sodium, potassium, magnesium. There's a thousand milligrams of sodium in this. Athletes can lose up to seven grams of sodium a day especially in the summer right now, if you're training in the heat. I just finished, I'm, pull, I'm drenched in sweat. When you run out of sodium in your body, that's when it's common to experience cramps or muscle fatigue. But now with this stuff, I mix this up for during a run, I mix it up after a run, it's the best. And as always, Element offers no questions asked refunds on all orders. They're the best. Right now, Element is offering a free sample pack with any order. That's eight single serving packets free with any Element order. So you can try all eight flavors and figure out which one you like the best and also share them with people, with friends and stuff. My sister came to town, I gave her an entire box because she was like, I need this stuff. And I was like, you do. So you can get yours at drinklmnt.com slash Cody. This deal is only available through the link. So hit the link in the description or just go to drinklmnt.com slash Cody. Hey. hey. What's up? Uh, sorry, one more going on outside. It's like, hello, I'm trying to work out and film in here. On the bike today, it took me a while. 
So we shot a music video yesterday, so it just was a long night. Got back at midnight. It's never, you know, I never feel good in the morning when I go to bed at midnight. So it took me a while, a couple coffees, I'm sitting on my computer, scrolling to finally muster up the energy to get my ass in here. Now we're here. Oh, that's embarrassing. Literally, I've been on the bike for an hour. Finally, I'm like, okay, I'll film a little bit. And right as I do that, somebody walks to try and come in here. It's like this guy that's doing some work. Anyways, what was I saying? What was I saying? So anyways, took a while to get in here. Finally got in here, putting in a deposit on the bike. Feels good. I get a new bike, a new road bike today, I think, or maybe tomorrow. It's in the mail right now. Very excited about that. I'll, I'll do a little unboxing when I finally get it for you. But I'm probably gonna take that out in the next few days for sure for a little test ride maybe up to the mountains we'll see so anyways tomorrow we fly to vegas early because i'm playing at encore beach club tomorrow so i'm gonna try and get some intervals done on the treadmill at the hotel because we're flying out early and tomorrow is the 5k interval day so i gotta just slam those out or maybe i'll just go up to the strip you know what could be better than 5k intervals in 110 degree heat that sounds like heaven on earth and I gotta, I'm saying this so that I stick to it. So I know I'm gonna get there and be like, ah, oh, let's fucking gamble. No, no, you're going to the gym at the hotel in Vegas. Have I ever done that? I don't think so. But tomorrow is a good day for a first. Saturday we get back. I'm gonna try and, I don't know, relax. Sunday, long run, and then I'm playing another bar in LA on Sunday. So it's gonna be a lot. Next few days, I thought I'd give you an update. Okay, one minute left. Okay, we're in Las Vegas, Nevada. My show is in about three and a half hours. So you know what the best pre-show ritual is? Is two 5K intervals. It's fucking cool. I'm gonna try and do them both at at least seven and a half minute miles. Just doing a 10 minute warm up right now. And then we start in seven minutes. It's gonna suck. That's what these are about. Speed work is just such a love-hate thing. It feels so good when it's done, but it's the worst when you're doing it. All right, wish me luck. Gym's pretty nice. Empty. First one done, here goes number two. A little faster this time. 8.2, that's like 720 minutes a mile. Second one, 5K, 22.39. Fuck, average pace, 7.18. May I eat you? Good morning, it's Sunday. Long run day. I'm just sitting here. With headphones on, listening to music. Is that weird? Just by myself in my living room listening to music? Perhaps. I'm trying to get pumped up a little bit, you know? I'm still a little bit tired, so cranking some coffee. My friend Connor's coming to meet me. Try and bang it out. Um, yeah. I'm still a little bit tired from Vegas, but and I have another I play another bar today in, in Venice here, so I'm gonna try and run, nap, DJ. Perfect day. <laughs> All right. How we feeling? Chew, chew, chew. Go chew, ahead. chew, baby. Eight miles in. Haven't hit the wall just yet, but I know it's coming. First three miles were rough. Brutal. I had to walk. Yeah. My calves are burning from the intervals. But now we're running at like 8.40, 8.30. It's pretty decent. Yeah. How many miles left? I don't know. What are we doing? What are you doing? I mean, I got the legs today. Oh, you want to go more? Yeah. I mean, I was, <laughs> I was going to try and best last week's run. 15? So I was going to do 16. I was going to try. 15.01. Yeah, or that. All right, 13.4 miles in. Half marathon was there. at the 156, I think. Not bad for a long run. How you feeling? That'd be like a PR. Ever, I think. Longest run ever? Yeah. Ever in your life? I've never run more than a half marathon. <laughs> what? Yeah. Holy fuck. Well, I'm honored that you chose to do it with me. There it is. 16.1, 8.52 average pace, two hours, 21 minutes. New oh. record. Longest run. Longest run ever. How'd it feel? Uh, good until 12, and then 12 to 16 just hurt. I mean, that big ass hill is. <laughs> that was right at 12, wasn't it? Yeah. Killed me. Fuck's sake. <coughs> you have a highly unique dunk. I know. I go to the side like a baby. It's one of the more uncharacteristic dunk a ever seen. <laughs> dunk a -roni. Fuck. Yeah, my arms are burning. You have dad bods like us. Uh, yeah, the stomach is just fine. <laughs> As Ronnie Pullman would say, lightweight baby. Lightweight baby. Nothing but a peanut. Lightweight. Lightweight baby. Ladies and gentlemen. Boys and girls. The Ventum is here. New bike alert. Let's get this thing out of the box. <laughs> I got it. I got it pink because I like this color is fire. 
And I just love the Barbie movie, so I had to get it pink, you know? It doesn't look like much now, but once that thing's put together... This thing is sick. Look at this fucking thing. It's so light. Yeah. Damn, it's, dude. I'm stoked. It's gonna be a... You got the other wheel in there. Yeah, I'm really fired up. I'm gonna put it back in here for now. Folks, thank you for watching another week. Um, I do have to shout out... I, I played a little show at this bar in Venice on Sunday. I had a whole bunch of people in the crowd going like this. I'd be like... You know, I'd be in there twisting knobs, hitting buttons, you know, really dialed in. And I'd look up and like four people would be like, choo, 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 choo. So that was fucking awesome. Shout out to every single one of you that did that. And every one of you that came, I appreciate it. All right, the one that I want to share this week. A comment of the week or something like that. This is from Bob bl 3 pf As a husband and a new father, three month old baby boy, Cody helps motivate me to keep my training up. I'm an avid runner, but ever since having our baby, I haven't trained as much. Recently, though, as crazy as it seems, if I'm sleep deprived and go for a run, I have more energy to keep taking care of our baby. Cody's training won't be just for him anymore. It will be to the benefit of his family. And I hope that's true. Amazing to hear that you're still, you know, getting out there despite, you know, the sleep deprivation and everything that comes with having a three month old. I hope that I can hopefully do the same. So I appreciate you. Thanks for leaving that comment. Thanks for watching another week. I really appreciate every single one of you. And, uh, I'm happy that I got this 16 miler done. Things are good. Things are trending up in training peaks, dude. Look at this. Hold on. Okay, so this is my fitness, like leading up to Ironman. You can see the blue, or sorry, the uh, yeah, the, the navy blue number there, 95. 95. That was like the measure of my fitness right before Ironman. And then since then, ah, and then since then I've been struggling to get it. I cannot get that shit over 50. 49, 48, and now finally. Boom! 52, things are going up. Let's go, although I do feel like I'm getting a little bit sick, so that's not good. And we're going to Europe today. So, again, that might throw a wrench in things, but I'm gonna keep it up! You know, I'll be sprinting through Italy. I love you. Hit like for me. Choo-choo. Bye.